Hello everyone, this is Muhammad Salman. Uh, I'm presenting today the hate speech detection on social media platforms, which will be, which will be our uh, project for the, uh, one of the requirements for the OLS Nebula program. Uh, this uh, project is prepared by the members of the Open Science Community in Iraq. So here we will delve into the uh, pressing issue of hate speech on social media, uh, which is a challenge that uh, not only disrupts social cohesion, but also threatens the safety and well-being of uh, individuals. So there is an impact of uh, hate uh, speech for sure. Uh, hate speech can uh, polarize uh, communities, it can incite violence, and it can cause uh, some kind of uh, psychological harm. So uh, in the digital age, its spread is rapid and its uh, reach vast, uh, making effective detection and mitigation is more crucial than ever now. Uh, so regarding the statistics, uh, we couldn't find uh, that accurate numbers that tells how uh, bad the problem is. Uh, but this will be one of our uh, objective for this uh, project, which is to quantify the problem or objectify the problem. And uh, there are uh, some challenges we faced. We will be talking about this uh, challenge, which is mainly the Iraqi dialect. Uh, so we couldn't find data for the Iraqi dialect. Uh, we could find data for the formal Arabic for any other languages uh, that close to this problem. But we couldn't find any specifically for the Iraqi dialect because uh, the uh, the Arabic language used in Iraq is not the formal language. So the goals is to build uh, machine learning models. And when I say machine learning model, I mean specifically a, a large language model, which is capable to accurately classify posts or tweets on Twitter, or what's called now X, to classify these posts or uh, tweets as uh, good or bad, so whether they are hate speech or not, and uh, only for the Iraqi dialect. So there are many objectives here, uh, many aims is to collect data from the social media platforms, and we did find some tools to do that, some open tools. Uh, one of the for Facebook, for example, is the Crowd Tangle, and for uh, Twitter or for X, it's called uh, Tweepy. Uh, we are planning on uh, utilizing the open and label data sets. Uh, so, and by label data sets, it means we know in advance which one is uh, hate speech, which one is not which means we will be using uh, what's called a supervised machine learning model to train the data. Uh, we will uh, need, uh, because I talked about the challenge, we will need to implement a translation mechanism for dialect processing. So we do have the data in formal Arabic. We will need to translate that to informal Arabic language. And uh, thankfully, we have today the natural language processing models, the LLM, large language models, which can be utilized for this purpose. And uh, we will need to uh, test and evaluate our model to ensure that it's accurate. And uh, we have to make sure that it generalizes really well on, uh, on the Iraqi, Iraqi dialect because uh, if it's, no, it's trained on uh, seen data, we need to uh, like test our model on unseen data to make sure it's uh, generalizable, which means it's useful and uh, doesn't have any problem. Uh, 
So I talked, I give some talk about the data collection tools and methods, and the workflow of our machine learning model will be like uh, data pre-processing and translation of dialects. Uh, data pre-processing, uh, this is kind of uh, uh, a long topic, so I'll be skip that. Uh, we will need to train the model using the supervised learning techniques. Uh, we will need, we'll also need to hyperparameter tuning our model to uh, optimize the model performance. Uh, we will need to validate and test our model on a separate uh, data set to evaluate the effectiveness for sure. Uh, so here I'm mentioning only like uh, five of the benefits of the training program from the Nebula. Uh, and here I'm mentioning only these, some of these, yeah, at least these actually, which is, uh, so first of all, our project is mainly involves uh, coding or software development. So uh, we will be using version control using Git and GitHub which uh, will enable also collaboration between uh, between us, between, uh, let's say, developers or programmers. Uh, it will also enable some, like, code review later. And uh, uh, regarding the licensing, we got some very useful information from the program. And uh, not sure about uh, the license we're going to be used for uh, the project, no, but for the software that we are going to develop, uh, we'll be using, uh, I think, mainly the MIT because uh, it's uh, open, more open than the others, and it will, it will allow the dissemination of our code so others can benefit from uh, uh, our code, our project. Uh, we like the idea of code reviewing that's mentioned in the program which is uh, very similar to the peer reviewing of uh, research papers. So like the idea of like people reviewing our code, uh, they may help us with uh, some, like some mistakes we may do in our project, some, something we don't notice, and they, they, they will be able to help us with this. So regarding data sharing, uh, we want to show that we want to commit uh, making uh, any data that we generate uh, publicly available and under open license for sure, uh, because we want to ensure replicability of uh, our uh, data or our uh, experiments. And we will be making sure that our project is reproducible. So we will um, document everything, The detailed documentation of the research environment, the model parameters, the code base, uh, and anything we can uh, document, uh, we will do that. There will be some challenge, the dialect translation, and for that we're going to be using a uh, large language model. So the, there is a problem of data scarcity because uh, like th there is no data for the formal Arabic, so we'll, we will have to use uh, the translation to compensate for that. And uh, there is some ethical considerations. Some data might be uh, inaccurate, like for example, the labeling might be wrong. Like some people may uh, like just say, something not bad, something just normal, and our model may classify this as hate speech. And if this tool is uh, integrated uh, on uh, any social media uh, platform, then this may cause some problem to the uh, user of, the, of that uh, social media. So here are some strategies to overcome these challenges. Uh, we will need to collaborate with linguists. There are some uh, details or nuances, what's called nuances to uh, some, w w what can be considered, for example, 
uh, hate speech, what is not. So we will need uh, uh, to collaborate with some linguists. Uh, and here at the um, Open Science Committee, uh, we do have some members who are good at this. Uh, this is also something mentioned at the beginning of the program, the Nibala program, which is the uh, cross-disciplinary uh, collaboration, which is something really useful. Uh, we will use uh, synthetic data if we have to, and uh, we, we have like the ethical, we'll be using uh, ethical review uh, boards to mitigate the problem, uh, so we need to establish ethical board uh, comprising uh, what's, what's called ethicists uh, or community stakeholders or legal advisors. So this board will be like uh, regularly reviews the, the models classification and the data sets we are using uh, for training. Uh, only to ensure that our process uh, is transparent and, and fair or just. Um, in, the, in the future, we are planning on uh, expanding on other dialects, and uh, we also, this is one of our aim in the future, is to integrate uh, this with the social media platforms, uh, because we know some hate speech is not being recognized by the already implemented tools on uh, on currently available social media platforms. So we aim at reduce the hate speech through uh, technology. And the open science uh, practice uh, uh, helped with uh, project transparency and helped with the collaborating among us and uh, with uh, other uh, people from other fields. And uh, it also uh, can help with the public engagement where we like collaborate with people, with the public, uh, to enhance our research in so many ways. So this would be the end. Uh, thank you for uh, listening. And please, if you have any questions, please forward them to this email. Thank you very much.